Hi, I'm Jennifer Wendland, and does the convection oven in your RV intimidate you? Well, our recipe editor, Mary Jane Curry, is going to show you how to make a fantastic meal in your convection oven and give you some helpful hints on how to use it. Mary Jane! Mary Jane! Jennifer! Hi! Hi. Hi. Let's do some cooking. All right. I have a convection recipe I want to try. Awesome. I've got okay. some chicken. Let's get to work. Let's do it. Mary Jane, the question that we get more than any other question is, how do I use my convection oven? And I got to confess, even myself, I just don't use it the way I should. You're right, Jennifer. I get that question all the time. In fact, at, just at this gathering, I've had three, four people ask me about the convection oven. They say, we love the recipes but we're not that familiar with the convection. So let's make a convection dinner and we'll document it. Oh, great. Jennifer, I got this great chutney the other day and it's a combination of ginger, mango, and um, the chutney together so it's a little sweet. So I thought what we could do is I can make a salad dressing and get some romaine lettuce out and then uh, make a little salad dressing, put it to the side, and then I'll make a sauce for the chicken you brought. I have never bought chutney before, so this is something new to me. You can tell I don't cook that much. This will be a lot of fun. It's a, a little different twist on some familiar flavors, and that's what makes it, you know, getting a flavorful food in a small kitchen really fun. So to make the dressing, I poured half a cup of good quality olive oil into the cup, and then We'll mix in equal amount of the mango ginger chutney. And let me whisk that. That'll, that'll pull it together a lot faster. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of ground spicy mustard for a little tang. It also acts as an emollient. So it'll hold the oil together better than the separation we're seeing right now. You could do this in a blender too, but it's so easy to do by hand. So see what that mustard did? It pulled it together into a nice sauce. I have some limes, so I think that'll add a little freshness and zing to it. Isn't this the smallest grater you ever saw? I think I'll slice the lime open. And we have a cutting board here. I didn't realize for about two years that we had this cutting board built right into the rig. The reason I'm gonna add the juice also is because the sauce is a little thick for a salad dressing. It's about right for a sauce for the chicken to, to bake in. But we'll thin it down a little bit for the dressing. Okay. okay, we'll set that aside. Isn't it easy so far? It sure is. Let me add that great looking boneless, skinless chicken that you brought. That's the best kind, I think, for, for doing this type of meal. You know, you probably want to have about two-thirds cup of uh, chicken per serving. But you can adapt this up and down, whether you're a solo, or you're a couple on the road, or you want to make a double portion and freeze half. Um, I would get one or two pounds of chicken. I'm going to add the rest of the mango sauce that we still have. This is 12 ounces, so I, I, we used about four for the dressing and four ounces of olive oil. So this will get nice and, and stick to it, kind of like a sweet and sour chicken, but just a little different flavor profile. And a little bit of mustard for some tang. I'm not gonna add oil now. We don't need to get it greasy. So we just 
rub it together. And then you could add salt and pepper now or just before you serve it. So we're just blending this together. Couldn't be any easier, really. And then um, next what we'll do, let me show you how to get that convection oven warmed up and how to set the time. This is gonna be a real treat because we eat chicken all the time and usually I just use a salad oil dressing to marinate it in, but we eat so much chicken, Mike does complain about it. <laughs> uh, but this chicken I know is gonna be extra good. Oh yeah, yeah I think it'll be great too. So now what I'll do is let me show you how the convection oven actually heats up and then uh, it'll ding when it gets to temperature. We'll put this in on the rack. You want to make sure it's not straight on the glass platform. It should be on the rack. And then we'll set it, why don't we set it for 18 minutes and then we'll check it with this instant read thermometer. So you want we're going to preheat the oven. We'll preheat the oven. And then when it dings, we'll put the dish in and we'll bake for 18 minutes. Convection bakes 25% faster than a regular oven and you can do it at 25 degrees lower temperature most okay. of the time. But we want to make sure our, our temperature internally on the chicken, we'll test it at 18 minutes and see if it's close to 165. That's the safe guideline for eating chicken. Okay. Here's our convection oven. What we're going to do is press convection and the temperature that we want. So we want seven, which is 350 degrees. And then we press start. Now, you set it at seven. Are all convection ovens and RVs the same? Seven is 350 degrees? That's a great question. And I believe yes, but you should always look at your manual or look at it online to make sure that it corresponds the same. Um, on this, I'll show you in a little bit, you can see in small letters what degree of temperature is uh, the numbered setting. So look at this, the seven is so dominant, but in tiny lettering underneath it is the actual temperature. So seven on this convection is 350 degrees, which is very common for cooking and baking. We're using the high point convection oven in our RV, and it's actually very common for many of the RVs out there. So this convection oven has many other buttons also that are helpful. There's grilling, roasting, and defrosting, power level selection, but tonight, we're using convection, and convection is very similar to baking. It's just quicker, and you can do it at 25 degree lower temperature. You know, a lot of people don't use their convection oven. Why do you think they don't use it? Well, my opinion is people are very familiar with what they grew up on and what they have in their home or what they had in their home before they became full-timers. So most people are familiar with a grill, a stove top, and um, a regular oven. But when they watch this video and find out the convection oven is actually the same as an oven, only better. It cooks faster, lower heat, you get a crispier product, a juicier product, and it's ready in 25% less time. You get creamier casseroles, crispier crusts. It's just, it's a, it's a blessing. People just are not that familiar. I think once they do two or three familiar recipes, most people have four recipes they know by heart. So start with those and press the right buttons and they'll be halfway there. It just beeped. All right. So now is the next step. We'll open the oven. Okay, oven's hot. Okay, so now we just put it in after it beeped. It got to temperature, it's 350. Now we'll hit convection. And our time, 1800, 18 minutes, start. Okay, the buzzer rang, so we are ready. Let's check the internal temperature. 
make sure we're up to 165 or close to it. That's the safe temperature for chicken. And we're there. Let's go eat. Okay, Jennifer, we're ready. This smells so good. So Jennifer, what we prepared together is a convection dish, which is Glacier Mango Chicken. And we're gonna have it on, on top of a salad with a side of brown rice. So it should be healthy and nutritious and smells delicious. We're gonna pair it with Pinot Grigio, which goes really well with chicken. And then we have some fresh strawberries that are local. This sounds, this is just beautiful. Thank you so much. And we'll get all this on one plate. No need to have too many dishes. Sounds good to me. That looks beautiful. Okay, a little Pinot Grigio. That'll pair well. What a beautiful meal. Pleasing to the eye. Nice and light, no guilt. Right, beautiful warm day, perfect. Cheers. Cheers, yeah. I love chicken. We eat a lot of chicken and uh, this is so tasty with the chutney and the mango and everything. It's refreshing. It's very summery. This is going to I'm going to add this to my recipe. Oh good. For summer. You know, Jennifer, this was so easy to prepare. Few ingredients, simply put together in the same casserole dish that we actually put in the convection oven and had made some of the uh, dressing on the side before we put it in. I really hope that people use their convection ovens in the RV more because not only do you save money from the restaurant costs, but you're eating healthy, you can control the ingredients, and it comes together beautifully. Boy, that was a good meal. Do you want to make it yourself? Well, we'll post Mary Jane's recipe in the description below. I'm Jennifer Wendland, and before you go, please subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel on YouTube right here below.